Imagine if it was as easy to build an app as it was to build a spreadsheet. That is the inspiration behind PowerFX. What is PowerFX? It is a low code expression language used currently to build Canvas apps in Power Platform. Now, if you are already a Power Apps Canvas apps maker, don't panic. Nothing is changing for you. Basically, your expression language that you use to build out those apps now has this name PowerFX. For those of you who might be new to this, let's have a little bit of a look at what PowerFX actually is and what I mean by a low code expression language. This table shows you all of the PowerFX functions and the things that are in green are things where the use of the function in Power Apps, Canvas Apps and in Excel are pretty much exactly the same. I'm going to show you the sort formula in a moment to give you an example of how that works. The things in white are other functions available to you in PowerFX for building apps. Those are not done in exactly the same way as Excel or some of them are things that you just actually can't do in a spreadsheet. They are things that become available to you as app makers. So let's go ahead and look at the sort formula. So I've got a table here in Excel. I've extracted this from my CRM system. It's a list of accounts. And what I want to do is sort them in alphabetical order. So I want to sort by an array. I need to choose what is the data that I'm sorting. Then what I need to do is say, which column do I want to sort on? And in this case, it's that first column. So Excel asks for the number of the column and then my sort order ascending or descending again, one for ascending, close my bracket. Boom. There we go. There is my list of accounts sorted in alphabetical order. Now let's have a look at exactly the same thing in a power app. This is connected up to that same list of accounts in my CRM system. Go up into the formula bar, notice the same little icon there. We start to type sort, gives us that same inbuilt help. First thing I do is choose my table, which is accounts. Which column do I want to sort on? In this case, I get to choose the name of it rather than putting in a number. And then do I want it ascending or descending? Close my bracket and there's my nicely alphabetically sorted list. So at this stage, PowerFX, just a renaming of that expression language that you're using in Canvas apps. It's also a statement of direction of where they're going to take this language, making it open source, using it in other parts of Power Platform. We're first going to see it available in Power Virtual Agents and model driven apps. I'll pop a link to a very comprehensive blog post written by Greg Lindhorst from Microsoft in the description here. If you'd like to get all the details and get into it a bit further, that's the place to go. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to see more tips, tricks, tutorials on Power Platform, Dynamics 365 and Microsoft Teams, please hit that subscribe button and come back and watch some more.